a random sample of 21 adults participated in a four-month weight loss program. Their mean weight loss was 10.2 pounds with a standard deviation of 2.6 pounds. Use this sample data to construct a 95% confidence interval for the population mean weight loss for all adults using this four-month program. You may assume the parent population is normally distributed. All right, so we are doing a confidence interval for the mean again, which means going down to T interval this time, putting in stats. The mean of the sample is 10.2. The standard deviation of the sample was 2.6. Our sample size is 21. And the level of confidence is 95%. So we'll go ahead and calculate that. And the result we get is this. So we're going to round to the first decimal because our mean and standard deviation are accurate to the, only the first decimal. So we will, our final answer here is mu. We are 95% certain that our population mean is somewhere between 9.0 and 11.4. So just round it off to the first decimal. C. In the year 2000, a survey of 1,006 U.S. adults were asked who they felt was the greatest president. Of those surveyed, 181 reported that Abraham Lincoln was the greatest president. Use this data to construct a 99% confidence interval for the population proportion of all U.S. adults who would say Abraham Lincoln was the greatest president before the year 2000. Okay, so we're doing an interval again, but this time it's for a proportion and not a mean. So we're going to be using one prop Z interval. So the proportion, um, it's Z because it's a normal distribution. That's always the case for, um, for proportion uh, related either hypothesis tests or confidence intervals. Um, it's always normal distribution, so it's a Z. Uh, we're doing a confidence interval. Okay, so all we need to input is the number of people who uh, qualify out of our sample, so 181, our sample size, so that's 1,006, and the level of confidence that we want to use is 99%, so we calculate, and I'm just going to round these to four decimals, but go ahead and change them to percentages as well, so 14.8. Uh, eight seven percent it's less than P is less than 21.11 percent so the total percentage of all US adults that believe Lincoln was the greatest president uh, somewhere between about 15 and 21 percent is basically what that's saying